So this week is actually a working week. So I've just been working all day on the laptop. It's about 3.30 now. I thought I'd go for a walk. Yeah, there's a company I work for off and on and she's just gone on her honeymoon. So I'm just kind of holding down the fort. But you know, it's, it's not a bad view for, <laughs> for my office. <laughs> I picked Wanaka just because I knew there'd be good internet and just easy. This campground, you know, I could just easily have a shower, get water, get rid of my wastewater. Supermarkets 10 minutes down the road. I've been here before about two years ago, so I kind of I knew what to expect and I knew it was beautiful <laughs> This could go horribly wrong <laughs> failed with this one too. This campground is massive. It just keeps going on and on and on. And there's lots of um, caravans just left, left here for holidays, I guess. So it's, it's actually, it's quite empty, <laughs> but with a whole lot of caravans. <laughs> I thought I'd just stop at one of the must-see sites in Wanaka. Well, one of the must-see touristy sites. I don't even know the name of it. Wanaka tree? It's this tree that's surrounded by water and it's it's popular on social media so suddenly it's it's the thing to do. <laughs> My current neighbour. Trying to guess where they're from, I think Austria? They were uh, had music and talking loudly till 11, 11.30 p.m. last night and then he was up at 7.30 a.m. talking to someone probably back home. I'm guessing everyone else would have liked to sleep in but no, now he 8.30 probably earlier he had music going again. <laughs> so just oblivious to anyone else around him. So I've just been chipping away working online all day. I kind of, the forecast was that the weather was going to be a bit average today. So I kind of knew that this was going to be an intense working day. I am finding, I find I can't work as long as I could in the caravan as I could sitting in an office with a proper desk and a proper chair. I don't know what it is. I probably don't have the best setup. I kind of just sit with my feet up, my back against the kitchen cabinet and work away all day. It's probably not the best. And then I find such a small space. I have to, I usually force myself to walk to the public toilets just to stretch my legs because you, you don't, you don't stretch your legs enough when your kitchen's two steps away and your bathroom's four steps away, you know? <laughs> So I find for my mental health and for my body to be happy working, I do need to kind of step away from my laptop and step away from the caravan, even if it's just to walk the lap of the campground. It's 4 p.m. <laughs> but it feels like a very long day. Yeah. So I decided I needed to get out of the caravan. I was definitely getting cabin fever. So there was this road that just went to this peninsula and uh, it was about 18 minutes drive away I thought I'd drive there and just see see what was there that's what I love about having the time at a location to just see what's there to drive down that road to go exploring around that corner just I don't know for something different the peninsula ended up being a private road um, so there had been a sign for a walk so I've just gone along a really old wooden bridge and have ended up here and then I see a couple of cars carried on I think there is kind of a walk just around the corner I 
Well, I've arrived to a track. Actually, still don't know where I am. Looks like you can walk to a beach two to three hours and two other tracks both longer. <laughs> so I might just, I don't know, I don't know whether I feel like two and a half hours, but uh, I might just start walking and just see what is there. I'm doing my normal trick of wondering what's around the corner, oh, just a little bit further, just a little bit further and it's really, it's quite muggy now even though it was raining 15 minutes ago <laughs> so the question is when do I decide to turn back? Right, I'm calling it, I'm stopping here because I can see the path just keeps going and going and going and it's starting to drizzle a little bit yep starting to rain <laughs> So, you know, it's about 8 p.m. on a Wednesday. I decided now was the perfect time to uh, clean my fridge, as you do. <laughs> there are a few spots of mold just starting to appear. Because the fridge has been playing up again, there's been a few really muggy days and it's just stopped working again. So it does look like it's, it's just overheating. So I've bought parts for to make a uh, the a fan for the fridge and I'll be doing a video on on putting that together soon so it's been another work day today it's actually it's been busier working this week than I expected um, I had thought I'd have a little bit more time but no, it's just it's all go <laughs> Oh, that was a nice evening walk. <laughs> Clear the head after sitting in front of the computer screen all day. It's just, it's just literally just there. It's just, I can't get over this location. I'm absolutely boiling. I think it's about 3 p.m. It's kind of difficult working in the caravan when it's really hot or really cold you just feel feel the temperature more you know you're just a little bit closer to nature <laughs> and then there are distractions like I've got a family that's just moved next door can you hear the the kids they don't have quiet voices <laughs> so that's another another distraction <sighs> I was, uh, I had paid to stay till Saturday morning, which is tomorrow, and I was planning to extend it and move on on Tuesday, but, I don't know, is the school holiday started now, maybe? If that's the case, this campground's going to get very loud. <laughs> I haven't really done any of the um, walks that I was planning to do. Last time I was here two years ago, I did the two main uh, touristy things that you do. I did Roy's Peak and I went to Aspiring National Park and they're amazing, well worth it, but you know Roy's Peak is crazy busy. So this time I was gonna just do the the lesser known options. <sighs> so I'm now I'm thinking maybe I'll just go for a drive now, do one more little walk yeah, and then move tomorrow to a NZMCA park where it will be a lot quieter. <laughs> Can you hear the frogs? There's a lot of them here. I 
know there are frogs there, but I couldn't spot any. They were hiding. So it has started properly raining. But I was thinking about going for a swim about an hour ago. <laughs> I guess this is the same thing really. So I thought I'd just start this walk just to see what's there out of curiosity. <laughs> 